Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Life. Today we're going to be continuing on our first round match at the China Championship against Mr. Doherty. And um, and uh, last and last time out, I did promise you a um, Mark Williams break off in this frame, so I will not disappoint now. I mean, I've promised, so I shall deliver this. <laughs> oh, it wasn't really a Mark Williams break off, but it, it, it it's uh, a variant. A variant that was probably even better. <laughs> well, it was more of a variant of the normal break off. You, you could say it was a cross between the two. But there, there we go. The Alok Bilku break off shot right. Here we go. The first 147 in my career mode. And the irony would be if I actually made a 147. It don't look like I'm going to make much more than one here though. You never know. Things do happen. I can. I might score heavy, you know, I didn't, but yeah. I mean, I'm recording this literally straight after I finished the last one, I was paused and pressed play again, so it's all of a sudden like that was my best video, that, that video was my best, because I'm not playing as well here, I'm not getting the chances by the looks of it, because there we go. Not chance, I mean, if I'd made, done the Mark Williams shot in the last video, I probably would have done it. Well, it is actually a chance that I just didn't see it first, um, first, first glance, but uh, here we go. A one three nine. My, I've got a one three nine at my mercy. <laughs> Haven't really, but I've got a good. I've got a good chance now. I'm in. I just need to develop the chance. I mean, the professionals, man. I don't get how they make the centuries look so easy. They just, it's just century after century. I mean, they're so good. They're such good players, you know. You can't knock them, really, can you? I mean, they know what they're doing. They know where to hit the ball. They know everything about the game. And I suppose they make their living out of it, but yeah, you know. Snook is a tough sport. I mean, people may just say it's hitting a ball into a pocket, but it's, it's not something I agree with. I mean, it's a, it's a much tougher sport than it looks. It might look like, it, like, a, like there's nothing to it, but boy, <laughs> there's a lot to think about in snooker. It's a great sport. It really is. I mean, it's really fun to play. I mean, I know a lot of people disagree with that statement, but... Uh, I know people think that's a bit of a bold claim, I suppose, a bit outlandish, but. Tremendous shot. But yeah. What about that for a position or shot? What about that for position or shot? What about that for the pot of the championship? For the shot of the championship, even. It was the best pot of the championship, no doubt, but uh, shot. Hopefully, I'll play a better. Hopefully, I'll play better shots than that in the future. I'm not saying it's a bad shot. I'm just saying, hopefully, I can get even better than that. No, could have done without that cannon on the red, but I'm onto the brown into the left, middle, left, left middle. Just a nice, simple shot, you know. I still fancy myself to knock this one in. And I was always going to be on that red to the right middle as long as I played some half of a half decent shot. But I don't need to play that one into the right middle so soon. I can play a slightly a red that would develop things slightly more and get me onto a slightly higher value colour which is just kind of like aiming for the best really the best of the best in this game you know so yeah you know I'll probably be on a colour here I don't really know that's a fantastic shot I mean it really is and look at this I've really opened this table up now I've got it at my mercy and I was joking about the 139 earlier it's, it's not on now obviously because the balls are gone from that position. Uh, well, sorry, what? I, I mean, I, I just haven't taken blacks, obviously. 26. I've, ta <laughs> I've taken nearly one of everything. It's just the yellow and green I'm missing. The worthless yellow and the kind of cheap green. The yellow is really... Like, I don't even consider the yellow a colour. I mean, a colour is actually a, a ball that I consider to be worth value in this game. What's the yellow worth? Two points. Is that all? I mean, the reds... And at least the red gets you onto a break. I mean, at least you don't have to play the yellow until you're obviously doing the... clearing the colours. I, mean, I don't mean to slag it off and then take it. I mean, it's almost, it could always be a Mr. Bean sketch or something, you know. The yellow probably will try and screw me over here. 
so uh, I'm just going to go out this way just to avoid the yellow screwing me over because I'm I've just been slagging it off for the last the last minute or so. I don't want it. Don't want to be bitten by. Ideal position, indeed. I think. Yeah. Well, really. Yeah. Good shot. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Is that there? Is it there? It's there. Blue. Well, an excellent Pink. Better. Outstanding effort. Thirty. On thirty-three as a break. He's going for the left corner pocket. That is nigh on perfect. Now I'm perfect, but I'm going to need the cannon. I haven't had the full, haven't had the full blood of the cannon really. So, but I got a red into the uh, green pocket, you know. So uh, we take it, we take it, we take it, we take those. To quote Troy. Hopefully this reaches. I mean, obviously I played that red in the last frame. I think I, I had that good chance at the centre, and I miss, I messed it up with that silly shot. I mean, I just underhit that red. I mean, it was going in, and it was it was in the jaws of the pocket. It was very much in the jaws of the pocket. I mean, it was unmissable in real life. I mean, I probably wouldn't have misjudged the pace in real life. And it wasn't that I missed the power bar or anything, but on that shot, I very much dodged a bullet. I think this red pops into left middle. I think it passes the other red. Yeah, it does. It does. It's a good chance for the century. No, it doesn't. Ooh, pressure shot. That definitely don't pop, no. Well, I'm going to break a 46. 47 in the lead. I think my shot on the previous... My position I shot on the previous red weren't the my best. Yes! Let's go! That was my finest. That was my finest. That really was... I really just wanted nothing more than to see that red drop, I think. And that meant that means so much, that red dropping. Like, words cannot express. As cliche as that may sound. Well judged shot, I feel. There, that red. That blue, nicely onto this red. Does that red go? No, it doesn't. I think this is the point where the break is just starting to get a bit tricky. Well, needless to say, obviously, I've just had to pull out a stupid recovery shot. Like, like I should not have had to play that. I should not have had to play a recovery shot at that difficulty. I mean, it was only because of a stupid shot beforehand. But yeah, I got a, I got a decent shot there, I think, to take this cheap blue. You know, because they're called blue rich, don't they? They say like sometimes you hear the phrase "rich blue." <laughs> it's, it, this blue so easy in this game when it really in real life it should be a hard shot. Captain Goodspeed calls it a cheap blue. I've underhit that. What? Why does something go wrong in a century break, man? And it kind of just shows you how difficult of a game snooker is. And I haven't even won the frame yet. Play a safety shot. I've left Kenner shots to nothing, but it's a very tricky one. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine the darling getting it. Then he's left it on for us. So it will be us going through to the second round if this red drops. Really, I think this is. I think I have a feeling this is frame ball. Yeah, it's four left, and I'm like 58 in front. This blue. This, yeah, there you go. Neil said it. That that was frame ball. Well, only by one point. He only needs one penalty point, Snooker. I'd like to make a nice little clearance there, obviously. I'd like to produce something special. To kind of do myself justice, I feel. The way I play in this match is like performance of a lifetime so far. 
It's, it's my best performance on this game so far, I think you can agree with that. I've never played better than this, like I really haven't. Decent position to take on a colour here. Seven. So yeah, we've made uh, light work of this, and it's a very short video. I didn't anticipate it being much more, more than 10 minutes, if it was even going to be longer than that. Which it was, yeah. We're heading towards 11 minutes, probably will be above 11 minutes, maybe even 12 minutes by the time this video is finished. Although, uh, probably not after that shot, unless, uh, unless I pull out a great exhibition shot, you know. For the fans, for the fans. No way near it. But uh, you know, whatever that was, a 12 break, I don't know. I think it was something like that. 12, 18. 20. 20? Sorry, Brendan. I would just like play safe. I mean, he's not going to come back, I know. I've hit these reds. Unless I've misjudged the angle. Yeah, that's fine. I think I might have left the plant on. But he's not going to come back. He needs like. Super. It's like some like 9 supers, 36 points in penalties, 9 to tie in. And I'm through by whitewash. Five frames to nil. That was a very easy match. Uh, my high break was 81 in the opening frame. I got 388 points. Allowing Ken to score just 36 points. Not even enough to win any frame, really. Um, well, unless, of course, it was the by a free miss rule. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like I played really good in that match. So, yeah, let's see who we got in the next round. Who are we going to get? Moment of truth. Come on, who are we going to get? Give us our player. Who are we going to get? Who we gonna get? Come on, hurry up, game. Anthony McGill. Oh no, I don't not. I do not. Uh, I don't want to play Anthony McGill. Oh, I think I lost. I'm just gonna just gonna press quit now. Anyway, guys, we'll be playing the Tartan Nugget next time round. So uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.